The Mighty Reggie Audiobook, Chapter 14. Too much agony in the ocean. If I don't love you by now, may the Lord strike me in the heart with lightning, Part 2. Like, Reggie, I don't mean to touch on such sensitive subjects. He was abused as a child. And that was just his way of saying, yes, it was too much agony in the ocean. And to every kid out there going through that kind of stuff, I just want to show you, you could do whatever you put your mind to. Like, just because somebody has a certain view of your life doesn't mean you have to accept it. It could be treated like a check stub where you work for something and just because they said you didn't get to get your last check don't mean that it wasn't f coming into full fruition. Like, somewhere in there, it was a return to the beginning. It was a landmark where you grew into like hearing, seeing, all type visions of where love could be and it hurt so much that my heart was shiver like a newborn baby thinking my child has to deal with a father that was abused as a child so of course he's gonna be extra sensitive but the heart is open to all type calisthenics like, you had to be extremely strong when people didn't feel like dealing with you. Like, in some ways, it all kind of just boomerang. Like, from being, like, boomerang, there were times I have been paid for sex as a man by very gorgeous women, but at the same time, it's just kind of like holding your blanket at night. Just thinking that little boy, he has a heart made of nitroglycerin. They trying to sell your man nitroglycerin. Um, it's kind of like coming to America, finding that love of your life, and just thinking, yeah, I got to shake down my shirt by a boss. But once again, too much agony in the ocean. But sometimes that agony in the ocean, it wins you over. You didn't exactly, like, hear it, hear the ocean just because it was the ocean. Don't mean you're exactly around the ocean. But somewhere God transcended, like, from that agony in the ocean to omniscient transcending variable of just... You and God's will, nothing can come in between it, especially between a God, goddess, and a hierarchy. I'm pretty sure goddess of those subject headlines looked at Reggie as an angel, as an ethereal, every glow, too beautiful for this world. He may just be one of those kids, too beautiful for this world. And if that's just what's on his heart, that the heart was like, yeah, it was punctured in certain points, but it was his own, it was his own flood. His heart flooded with like coldness. It's kind of like gulf size hell at the heart that somewhere the, the ice of the matter was his angels. That, yeah, he was stone shocked on the other end of the tunnel vision. But where there is a will, there is a way. He made a way out. And, yeah, he did fall in love some days. And Reggie was the type of person when he fell in love, the agony in the ocean is like kind of being returned back to home. He heard all type systematic 
beings of what we would call love masters. Kind of like a thought master. You just keep squeezing and squeezing to a big orgasmic channel. I mean, 30 long years of those kind of 30, 40 years, 50 years have the story of just blue stuff. I mean, you got it. You can guess it. Reggie blew up again. Reggie was a blue hearted kind of man. Most is like baby blue at that. So they always had kids in mind and heart. Baby subjects, but nothing quite hurt like Nutty Professor. That I guess I just gotta live with the man I am, and I gotta be a bigger man. Um, I close this chapter.